Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Explaining Warhammer to My Girlfriend. I am your host, Ava, and joining me, as always, is my lovely significant other, Carrie. Hello! Before we get started, we want to give a huge shout out to all of our friends and patrons who helped with the intro. That was really, really fun to put together. And we have a huge announcement. We have merch! We've partnered up with Bricky over at Orchidate.com to bring you some great, super comfortable hoodies, t-shirts, and oh, is that a swarm of nerglings on your sweatpants? Or are you just happy to see me? Also, there is currently a Black Friday sale. Any order over $100 is 15% off. You can check out all these designs and more over at Orchidate.com. Link in the description. And if you'd like to support the show, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash numbskulls, where you can get all sorts of rewards like a private Discord, bloopers, early episodes, voting on episode topics, and much, much more. That's patreon.com slash numbskulls. So we're going to learn about gods today. No, we're not learning about gods. Aww. That's next episode. We're going to okay. wrap up our chaos thing next episode with Zinch. Oh, so we're probably good. not going to talk about Malal because Malal. He's, he's like a weird fifth chaos god. He's not canon, but also canon. And also the reason why he's not canon is because of a licensing issue. But that's a whole other topic. Today oh. we're having fun. Oh. Today we're going to be talking about orcs. I love Oh. So what do you know about orcs, my love? Mushrooms. Right. They are not mammals. They're not mammals. They are not mammals. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's That is true. Do you know like their overall vibe at all? Men. 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 Manly well, men. Well, mushrooms. Mushroom men. Mushroom men. <gasps> is Peach their ruler? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> they, they don't. They don't really have like a ruler per se. Oh, do they have any kind of societal structure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do. So orcs are the comedic relief of the setting. Right. They're goofy. They're fun. Right. They're weird. You don't really take them too seriously unless you're like fighting them. I've heard they're British too. They're Cockney British. Okay, but my mom's from London town. Am I an orc? <laughs> <laughs> no. Reach back on the menu, boys. That was scarily accurate I'm a voice to actor. how orcs kind of sound. <laughs> Give me a body type. I'll, I'll, I got you. Big, muscly, stunted. <laughs> Why did that sound like Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> Think of orcs as we talk about them to be sort of like kids that don't have adult supervision. Okay, I'm into that. So as you said, they are mushrooms. They're kind of all throughout the universe and they are by far like the largest alien population Maybe Tyranids oh, really? are more, but when they come to a planet and they infest it with spores, because, you know, mushrooms, it's very hard for them to be taken care of and gotten rid of. Right. So they take up mushroom. They take up mushroom. It's true. When you read like a Warhammer story or you experience like a game or something, more often than not, orcs are at least going to make an appearance. They are absolutely everywhere. You cannot get away from these guys. And a lot of people don't want to get away from them because they're so fun and goofy and weird. So if you run into one of these guys, he's probably a fun guy. Maybe not to you. He'll probably try to eat uh, you. Oh. Yeah. I mean, this is still Warhammer, right? Is it because I'm loud? No. It's just because he, he wants to just fight you. Oh. The way orcs work is that they only care about one thing, and that's fighting. Oh. They just want to be fighting oh. all the time. Or as they say, crumpin'. Crumpin'. They want to be crumpin' Not all crumpet. the time. Not crumpet, crumpin'. Okay. They they uh, they get together and they're like, all right, lads, let's go crumpin'. And then they go, crump. It's like, like going out for a rip? No, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like going out to, like, fight and loot places. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Would you liken it to going out for a rip? Is that a mushroom? Lichen is a type of fungal. The fungus. So. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you asked about their society. They're actually like pretty unorganized other than when okay. they get together to fight. And even when they're fighting, they're very unorganized. But the way that they like a kind of warfare kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. But okay. they're more like disorganized societally because their entire thing is follow the leader. And who's the leader? It's the biggest orc. It's that guy. But then you can't see him from where you are. So for to, for you, it's that guy. So they're sporadic. I see. I see. I see your jokes this I'm episode. Sorry, sorry. I can what? understand. <laughs> I can't help it. No, you're adorable. I love you. So orcs believe that bigger is better. And that is true because let's talk about their origins. Really they quick. need to be strong enough. Strong enough. Is that also a mushroom well, thing? It's a dish you might make with mushrooms. 
I see. I'm going to cremini as many of these in here as I can while we go. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll let, I want to hear about their origins. Please tell me. I'm going to be groaning silently. No, don't groan. Every. <laughs> I'm so fun. Yay. <laughs> Everything's going to be enoki doki. <laughs> for our viewers, don't worry. I'm face palming for you. If you're not mold enough to get all the jokes, it's okay. Oh my God. I'm just trying to boost morale. Morale. I see. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> so orcs uh, were actually around with the Necrons and the Eldari back in the War in Heaven oh. when the Catan and the Old Ones were fighting. Jax Taylor. Right? Is that right? Uh, the Catan. Yeah, the Catan yeah, yeah. we have deemed as the Jax Taylors. Jax yes, Taylor. the, the Deceiver and, and so on and so forth. So orcs were made as crorks. Crorks. They weren't orcs. They okay. were crorks. Crorks and orcs. They were these genetically modified, kind of a rush job to make them into oh. these weapons, these super powerful guys that are really smart, really tactically advanced. Okay. And so they were basically like Dothraki, where when they show up, it's a big deal. Right. And it's a problem yeah. for anyone that they're fighting. It's a, it's a, it's an overwhelm situation. Yeah. Right. And because they are mushrooms, the idea was these really powerful warriors are never going to stop coming. So eventually, just based on numbers, they're going to win. Yeah. You got to fumigate the whole house. Yeah. Or they're coming or, back. Or a planet. <laughs> and they're still coming or, back. Yeah, exactly. So obviously we know how the war in heaven ended. Mm -hmm. The old ones died. They're gone. Yeah. The Catan it were imprisoned, enslaved. Guys, I can tell Necrons you all about Necrons went to sleep. It. I know all of this now. Eldari would take over the galaxy. For a little bit. For a little bit until they- Till the whole, you know, you know destroying the, the angel whore. thing. Accidentally summoning a god. Oopsie Whoopsie. doopsie. Oopsie. 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 My bad. Death cap. Orcs, unfortunately, had a problem. Oh. They started to degrade over time. They became much smaller, much dumber, and overall less what they once were. You said that they were made. Yeah, they were. So they were like a race that the old ones, like the Eldari, they were uh, okay. a race, and the old ones came by and they genetically modified them to be whatever they wanted. In this situation, they needed foot soldiers, and so they made foot soldiers. Okay, I understand. So they yeah. came to some planet, and there was some cute little guys running around. There were some cute little fungus boys. And they were like, I bet we could multiply, y'all. It's interesting because Crorks were like these giant... We, we don't know a whole lot about them, but mm. they were essentially these giant warriors that were really strong, and they were really smart. What's interesting about Orcs yeah. is as they fight, they get bigger. Oh. And as they get bigger... They get smarter. So the idea is that they're sort of, as they fight, they are becoming more like Krorks. So as you use them, they grow on you. It, essentially, yeah. But your average orc, pretty stupid. They're going to follow the biggest <laughs> orc around. <laughs> right. They care about one thing and one thing only, and that's crumpin'. And they're going to crump. They love the crumpin'. Crumpin'. Crumpin' time, boys. Now, interestingly, orcs actually are religious. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. They believe in two gods. Okay, cool. We love dual theism. The gods that they believe in, they're called Gork. Gork. And Mork. Mork. Gork is described as brutal but cunning, but Mork is described as cunning but brutal. Specifically without the G? Yeah. Okay, got it. So the idea is that Gork is like punch you in the face. Mork is like punch you in the back. Okay, which one is which? So about that. Okay, what, what do you mean about that? Because I want to know. Because whichever one's gonna punch me in the back, I got. I, so, so the the funny thing about Gork and Mork is that often in books, uh -huh. even orcs, like characters and other orcs, will see orc iconography, yeah. and often you'll see a symbol of Gork yep. or Mork, and characters get confused. So they'll see like an icon and they're like, "I can relate to this." Well, they see an icon and this it's is, like, that's an altar to Mork or maybe Gork. This is me when I look at B's and D's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which it's... one is which. Why do they look the same? <laughs> what do you mean that's it's... not a bog? Why? <laughs> they're, they're so similar that even Orcs get confused onto which god they're actually like. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, it's really fun. It sounds like it's... being not entirely accurate and or sure about which god you're actually working with at the moment might be a theme that comes up multiple times in Warhammer. Yeah, actually. Uh, we've talked about that with specific Specifically, Slanesh. Like, oh. there have been a lot oh. of things. Like, the idea of, of the Chaos Gods is that a lot of it is slow and, like, tempting, especially with Slanesh. Yeah, you go in the deadly webcap. Yeah. Webway. 
Web the web wood. Web Go see my babe. Give me a shroom um, with a view, honey. So orcs are big and strong, yeah. but that's not what makes them dangerous. Yeah. Okay. It's how they function. Orcs have this weird thing where whatever orcs believe becomes reality. They manifest. Yes. They they read that book, the true the what is that book? <laughs> the the secret? The secret. That's it. With The Secret. The Secret. Did you ever read The I'm, Secret? I never read the. Oh, secret. okay. It's one of those books that like all of our boomer parents read, and it's like supposed to like teach you how to like you know oh. do your life however you want to do it. But it's like it all comes down to like think the about secret. the things you want a lot. Think, think about the secret. Like make yourself like a mood board, <laughs> and like <laughs> to a point, yeah, that totally like makes sense. Like you want mm. to, in order to push towards something yourself, you have to kind of interact with it in a way. You have to mm. you have to engage with it, but it's not the secret. <laughs> It's not the secret. There is no secret. Work hard. So to illustrate how this sort of belief thing works, I have a quote from a Necron book Ooh. from uh, The Infinite and the Divine okay. to sort of illustrate how even to a race such as the Necrons who have pretty much mastered science and technology and so on, Damn. they are confused by the orcs. Prazin, our ships are without atmosphere, unpressurized, Orican said. Do orcs breathe? A pause. They have lungs. That's not what I asked. <laughs> John, our um actually guy, uh, has left a note here we love saying, John. disclaimer, orcs can't breathe in space, but the answer to this is that they probably thought the Necron ship was pressurized. So the orcs probably thought the ship had air, therefore it wasn't a problem. So the orcs are fine. As long as they don't know what's yeah, going they're on, fine. they're fine. As long as they don't understand what's happening, they are a-okay. They're having fun. Which is interesting because this is only because they're not very smart. Right. So a smarter orc would probably have a problem in a situation like this because they would understand like, ah, the ship's not pressurized. There's no oxygen. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. need to plan around that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's interesting how like as they get smarter, it kind of becomes more of a problem. It's orcs are fascinating Do we when you know start talking about how like the intricacies. This happens like, okay, they have a cognition like I can breathe here or they simply don't have the cognition that they wouldn't be able to. And thus yeah. it either affects their biology in so much that they are able to maintain homeostasis or it affects the world around them. So it seems to be the idea of it just works okay, and it works for them. And to explain that, Orc guns and vehicles and stuff. Right. They work and like orcs make them and and like they they work. Right. But the problem is a human will pick up an orc gun and go, this shouldn't shoot. This shouldn't be possible. But does it? But it works. So, okay. So like, let's say, let's say there's a human and an orc. Yeah. In, yeah. I don't know, like a space vessel. Like a, like a, let's say they pop they're in, out. They're on a ship. They're on a ship. They're on a little ship yeah. together. They're like mm -hmm. vibing. In the, you know, putting on their tracks. <laughs> Somehow the, right. the, the human passes out or something. I don't know. They fall asleep. They aren't cognition. They aren't thinking anymore. So whatever they know is irrelevant to the situation, but they are alive and breathing in this environment mm -hmm. with this orc. Suddenly the spaceship springs a leak. All the air goes out. The orc doesn't notice. So Orc would be fine. Orc would be fine. He would be fine. Would the human die? Yes. So it doesn't affect the world around them. It affects it them. It works. It works for orcs. So like if the human picks up that gun and tries to shoot it, it won't shoot. But if the orc break. does, it'll shoot. If he yes. believes it'll work. Yes. It's weird, right? Well, I'm just trying to get the, the what could you do with this? Because in my mind, right. like, you know, you you get, a, oh my God. Let me, oh my, let me wait, I just, way. we a just found of... out which god I'm going to fucking follow. Because I was like, you could get like an orc and like gaslight the fuck out of him and become oh, no. like an infinitely oh, no. powerful being. She's changing sides from Selenesh to Zinch already. It's I think happening. it's just, a, I think they just go together, huh? <laughs> they do. They do work together quite a bit. Let me put it this way. You know how like ships will have like a, like a big console with like controls yeah. and a steering wheel and stuff. Yeah. Fuck the that. Bridge. Orcs have a button that says go. Oh, just a go button. Make it go. Yeah. It's just a big red button that says go. What if you want to stop? What if you're already going? Does it turn into Why would stop? you ever want to stop? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're heading crumping. right for a mountain. Yeah, you, they would love that. What about turning? Listen, as long as an orc is fighting. Parallel so let's parking. Say... Can they go forward and back and then forward <laughs> and back and then forward <laughs> and, and back forward. and then forward? There's actually an interesting theory that is probably wrong, but it's really fun to think about that. You know how the tagline is, 
the grimdark future of 40k there is only only war. war yeah yeah so the idea is the only reason why there is only war is because the orcs think that everyone's fighting but then that so would the be... war never ends. I guess they're in it. I yeah. So so I understand. Yeah. No, I know. I'm picking. T- I'm picking it apart too literally. It's just yeah. Funny. The beauty of orcs is the stupid simplicity of it. How does this work? Shut up. I don't know. We're going. It it's always has. Button. That's the answer. It always has. <laughs> it always has. It's never broken before. So let's talk about the orc factions, because there's actually quite a bit. And we're going to focus mainly on the factions that you can play on tabletop, which it helps that these are the most prevalent orc clans. Sweet. And we'll start with the Goths. The Goths. Oh, the I Goths had a Goth are... phase. We all did. <laughs> <laughs> so these are your classic orcs. They are, from what I could read... Mm-hmm. They are the largest orc clan, but they're your basic like melee focused clan of orcs. They're real tough and their color scheme is black and white checkerboards. Okay. I like the cool skull thing. Yeah, their logo is really cool. Fancy. Next up, we have the Evil Sons. These guys are your vehicle focused faction. They go fast. Right. Do you want to know what their main color is? Motion blur? It's not motion blur. It's red because anything (laughs) red goes faster. Oh, go faster for the pasta. The red ones go faster. So orcs, if you paint something red, guess what? It's going to go faster. Cool. This goes into their belief. I wish that worked in Final Fantasy. I'd be zooming them in front of all of y'all. Yeah, you just zoom in front of everybody. (laughs) They actually have a pretty cool Mad Max vibe. So they have like a lot of like ramshackle junkyard bikes and cars and buggies and all this stuff. Do they yeah, have planes? You, they do have planes, so but they, do I they have don't like, know if... Do they fly them out of the airport of Bello? Are any of the cars like nice cars, like Porsche? <laughs> no, they're all ramshackle <laughs> junk. It's all junk that shouldn't work. Are the seats of the cars toadstools? I don't think they even have seats. Oh, okay, fair honest. enough. I don't know. We might have just to... just Cremini as many of them in there as they can. I already used that one. <laughs> There's actually an orc racing game coming out oh, soon that's called cool. Speed Freaks. Oh, that's really fun. So that'd be really fun to like, <gasps> Wait, we could like have play trains? that together. I don't know if orcs have trains, actually. You don't Guys, see a lot of trains in... Um, I love trains. And a lot of Warhammer stuff. Do with that what you will. Mm-hmm. Our next faction are the Bad Moons. Bad Moons? Cool. So their main color is yellow because yellow is the richest color. They are the richest oh, okay. because orc currency, they have currency, by the way. Oh. Their currency is teeth. Oh. Teeth is? Teeth is. Yeah, they have teeth. Okay. Teeth as I have currency. teeth. Oh, I'm rich. Oh. So the reason why they're the richest is because bad moon orcs, their teeth grow faster than other oh, orc clans. They're like white so sharks. So that's why they're white the sharks. richest. Regular sharks. <laughs> regular sharks that's cool and also unfair well i mean so here's what they do with all their teeth they buy all the biggest guns ah so if you play bad moons you're going with like big daka daka is gun okay could they not just buy faster vehicles well that would be what the evil sons would do well, but I... bad moons are more focused on like big guns i see what you're saying but their main color scheme is yellow so they paint everything yellow to let you know, like, where the bad moons were the best. Because if they painted it red, orcs might get confused and be like, is this an evil shunge or a bad moons vehicle? Question. Let's say this is, like, Fast and Furious. And they have a race, but it's, like, a race for their car. Like, you know how they're always betting their cars when they don't have cash and stuff? And so, sure. let's say the, the bad moons, like, beat the, the fast guys because they pull some, like, tricksy maneuvers. They and cheat they take, or like, their red and car. And they take the red car. Um. So the red one they would go it. faster. Yeah. Most likely they would paint it yellow. And then it would go slower. It would go slower. Even yes. if they believed it would be just as fast because they no. bought it and they had seen how f- they know it's going to be well, slower when they paint it. Well, they're going to paint it to represent their faction, but it's just a fact that the red ones go faster. Okay. This is why DMs don't like me. Because <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. <laughs> because I'm like, like how, how do I how do I find the loophole? <laughs> right, right. Well, unfortunately, with orcs, there are no loopholes. There is just solid facts. Red ones go faster. Yellow is the richest color. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera. Right, all right. So bad moons have the biggest DACA. They also have more Gretchen slaves than the other clans. Gretchen slaves? So Gretchens are like goblins. Oh. They're 40K goblins. I thought it was just some poor lady just Gretchen over there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen. <laughs> Here's a fun fact about Gretchen. 
they always have better accuracy. Like they shoot better than orcs in game. Okay. And they're typically smarter than orcs, but they're very fragile. They're like made of glass bones and paper skin. No, my little guys. Yeah. They're also, they're, you know, they're known as a lot of things like slaves, workers, emergency food rations, so on and so forth. Meats back on the menu, boys. Yeah. If there's not enough food, they'll just start eating Gretchen. Well, that's not good. Gretchen. Yeah. Yeah, poor Gretchen. Poor Gretchen. We, we we feel bad for our Gretchen friends. They they deserve so much. You know, not to get eaten. Yeah, that's nice. They deserve to be happy. Aww. They're they're so cute. I love Gretchen so much. Oh, he stole all the loot. Why do you do that? Well, because he wants it. Oh, the other <laughs> the other Gretchen's. Who's he talking to? He's, ta- He's talking to an orc. The orcs. He's talking Aww. to. Isn't the orc gonna, gonna take the loot? And then they're not going to get any loot. Yeah, probably. See, these are the kind of loopholes you got to be watching out for. (laughs) Yeah. Our next orc faction are the Blood Axes. Oh, okay. Their color is camo because they sneaky. Oh. Horn orc. Snicker orcs. They're the sneaky faction. I feel like, based on what I've learned, you would watch them slowly paint a car camo until, like, the last drop of paint was applied and then it would disappear. (laughs) I mean, you're not far off. (laughs) You're not far off. It just turns invisible. Like, whoa, where to go? <laughs> Interestingly, blood axes are mistrusted by the other orc clans because well, nine they could times be out of ten, be anywhere at any moment. Well, no, it's because they stab you in the back so often. Oh, um, so scar brand behavior. Just saying. Yeah, pretty scar brandy behavior. Oh. Orcs don't like that kind of thing. They You're don't gonna like get heated around. for eight days. <laughs> so they're they have a, a unique model for their faction called the commando which is orcs that like they wear beanies and like hats and stuff they look like black ops orcs okay they're really cool that's here's fun. another reason why blood axes are not very trusted okay they trade with humans <laughs> and sometimes they work as mercenaries for them and you know what the other orc clans they see that and they're like you're not that is downright unorky. that's not okay that's not orky enough. That's not orky enough. I guess if everybody's saying it, mm-hmm. it must be true. <laughs> it must be true. Uh huh. The thing is, they will work with humans, but they're probably going to stab them in the back. Right. But it's like, it, 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 if it benefits us, we'll work with you. We'll work with you until we get what we want, and then we're going to take everything. Our next orc faction are the Death Skulls. Oh! They are typically painted blue oh, because okay. blue is the luckiest color. Luck? Not green? No, because okay. green is the best color. Okay, sure. Cool. I'm into it. I love green. Green's pretty. Yeah, green's great. But blue is the luckiest. So this faction, they loot or steal most of their gear from mm-hmm. battlefields mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. other orcs or humans or so on. This faction, if you want to get into orcs, this one really encourages like, yeah, just take like a bunch of different bits from other things and just slap them together because that's what this faction's about. Right. They really like mechs. Oh, me too. It's it's just really cool because you can just take like a bunch of human guns or space marine guns and stuff, slap them onto an orc. And with Death Skulls, it's like, yeah, he just found them on a battlefield. So like customization two, I need two is really encouraged names. with them. That would be in the Death Skulls. Two orc names that would be Death Skull orcs. Yeah. Uh, you could just say like. Like a lady one and a man one. Oh. Are they I lady orcs? News. Okay, well, like. Grunt I, and Grug. Grunt? Grunt and Grunt. Grug. You have to get in the robot or Gretchen will have to go again. <laughs> Should she get in the sucking robot? <laughs> what, a, what a terrible father. <laughs> what a terrible dad. Oh, Gendo Akari. Our next orc faction are known as the Snake Bites. Oh, guys. Oh, noodle. Interestingly, they don't really have a color associated with them. Usually it's brown, browns and greens, like really earthy tones. Okay. Because they're the more traditional orcs. They have a belief in the old ways. So the old ways. They don't really use technology unless it's like really, really old. Ah, uh, okay. They're often described as the toughest orcs. Not the strongest. Not the strongest. They're the toughest. Right. So they're tanks as opposed to like doing the most mm-hmm. damage. We're talking tank, not DPS. Yeah, they're usually using melee weapons primarily, or as orcs call them, choppas. Right. So they use like choppas and spears. Right. And they're home to my favorite orc subfaction, oh. the beast snaggers. Beast snaggers. 
So the bee snaggers are so cool because all they do, all they care about, you know how oh, like most orcs are like crumping, they want to like loot and stuff. Not these guys. You know what they care about? They're like, we're monster hunters. We go to planets and we hunt for monsters. Oh, oh this. Oh, okay, wait. To like take them home and take care of them and like check on them sometimes and like make sure their habitats are doing well. So it depends. So a lot of their gear is like, you know, skinned alien monster bits right. and they're yeah. like wearing it so it's like right. monster hunter it's like you know yeah. the game right or sometimes they'll tame it and oh. they'll use it to ride into battle like kind yeah, of yeah i like what this guy's style. got he is killing it what a beautiful little guy so snake bites are also they have the most squigs squig squigs they are, are another... non-magic people who are born of magical parents what are you referring that's a squib <laughs> Oh, what is a squib from? Harry Potter. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, don't remember. I, I remember people yelling the word muggle at each other. And For instance, Professor Filch is a squib. He um, had magical parents. That's why he's allowed to be at Hogwarts. I see. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway, squigs. Mm -hmm. Squigs are another. So Gretchen are also from mushrooms. They're also spore creatures. Mm -hmm. Squigs are also spore creatures. And okay. their DNA is really... They sport each other? Their DNA is really malleable. Oh. There are all sorts of squigs. Food squig, uh, hair squig, ooh. anvil squig. Oh. You know, like clonk. I clonk is an clonk. anvil Guys, squig. Guys, can we take a clonk appreciation moment? Can we appreciate Look at clonk. him. Look at him. Oh. He's God. perfect. Oh, we love him. clonk. What a little guy. A body a we could guy. only aspire. It's really interesting how much squigs are like, used if you ever see orc with hair yeah that's not hair that's a hair squig that, hair he, squig. that is like its mouth is like latched onto its scalp oh no it's like a lamprey yeah, it's, it's like a lamprey oh it's i don't really like gross. lampreys just look don't at think them. about it oh, when don't you look see at them. just don't just don't think about it too much when you see an orc with hair well now i'm gonna yeah well oh this whole series wasn't worth it now i know that <laughs> the dark truth we, of hair ew. Orcs. there's also like targeting squigs what Water skin. Oh, it's like Tears of the Kingdom. You just throw on what you want. Yeah, it's just whatever you want. Yeah. Right? I got to hit this thing in the eye, but it, I'm not good at this. So I just, here's a f eye. Yeah. And so snake bites usually are the ones with the most squigs. They like breed them, they, they take care of them. And so there's a lot of different squigs oh. that they use. So what is this reminding me? It's like those, those like, what's those games where you like breed things and see what they turn into? Oh, like, like Monster Rancher? Mon or like, I mean, I guess some Pokemon or games. Or yeah, Spore, I think is more what like I'm thinking spore. of. But I yeah. also feel like I'm missing something. Like I feel like, you know that weird app that came out a while ago where like people were like, you can combine any Pokemon and some of the most nightmare oh, fuel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy it's kind of like stuff. That. Yeah. I like the ones with funny names. Gork. War Turtle. Donna. <laughs> War Turtle. Our final orc faction right. are known as the Freebooters. Oh. They are orc pirates. Ooh, I like pirate. They wear funny little pirate hats and Aww. they sing she shanties. And she shanties. They're often made up of other orcs from either broken war bands or they've been oh, outcasts. They're the outcast from their orcs. Oh, the orphan orcs. The orc But sometimes, but sometimes. Oh. Orcs will willingly leave their clan. So like a goth oh, okay. orc could just be like, I just want to be a free Buddha. And then he'll go oh, join the free Buddha. Just live your fucking life, man. Yeah, just do your thing. Oh. Unfortunately, the reason why a lot of outcast orcs right. come into here is because they've done something really messed up. Kind of like the black, the crows of, sorry, of uh, Game of Thrones, what John enters. Like oh, some people yeah, volunteer, yeah, some yeah. people are criminals it's, and it's like better than being beheaded. So yeah, you could, you could like imagine if the wall was just pirates. It's kind of like that. All right. They're very similar to blood axes where they actually go around and they make deals with humans or as they say, Yumi's. Yumi's. And they also backstab everybody a lot oh, stab them in the bum apparently this is my work of orcs <laughs> i found it <gasps> free buddhas are so adorable and i wish they had newer models because they have pretty old ones but what a lot of people will do is they'll 3d print little orc pirate hats and Aww. just dress up all their orcs that's what i it's do to so kita she's got oh. a birthday hat and a christmas hat 
She does. She was supposed to have a Halloween hat, and I was supposed to make her into a dragon this year, but I didn't get to it. We can do a Christmas dragon. It's true. Look. Keita's There's gonna never live a like bad 40 time years. <laughs> for a dragon. No, it's true. Dragons are freaking aesthetic boys. <sighs> it's time to talk about the wah. Okay, I've had questions about the wah. Yeah, you've seen a lot of people in the comments screaming out wah. I have. And I'm with you. Yeah. I'm down to party. I just yeah. don't know well, what we're wanging about. So sometimes an orc will be asleep. Me too. And they'll get a vision from Gork or maybe Mork. Oh, or okay. both, even. Oh. And they'll wake up and they'll get really excited. Whoa. And they have just this raw fighting energy. They have like this aura of hype around them. Oh. And that spreads to other orcs. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they start getting really the excited. Hype train. And yes, they start a hype train. The That's Orcish actually perfect. hype train. So orcs start this hype train. And it's so powerful, this fighting energy that it unites the clans and they get together to go crumpin. And it typically is like they'll start on one planet and they'll just move in a single direction and they won't stop. So if you're in the way of an orc wall, bad news. To be fair, statistically in space, that's not hitting a lot. Right, but an orc wall can last a long time because the only way a wall usually ends is if the main boss is killed, the war boss. The wasp. The wasp. <laughs> so, so a lot so of- So it's like, it's um, like the little, when you're running around in Breath of the Wild, here's the kingdom, and you see one of those big ass- Yeah, boss bacoblin. Boss bacoblin. You have to get rid of the- Yeah, when you get rid of the boss, they all disorganize, and then Or it's you shoot to the boss with the muddle bud. This is the second episode you've talked about shooting something with a muddle bud. Listen, I think you have a problem. I like chaos, and I like loopholes. <laughs> I see. A lot of orc books where they're like the primary antagonist, a lot of it is either we either get away from the orc or we have to go find their war boss to end this. Okay. Right. Makes sense. And considering they have such a presence in the galaxy, that's the majority of Warhammer books you're going to read. So the boss in this case is the guy who had the dream. Not always. Okay. Okay. Um, it's typically just a regular orc, but the biggest orc will be in charge of the entire wall. Yeah. As and the wall grows, be multiple, bigger. Yeah, and there can be multiple walls going on simultaneously. Multiple, 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 multiple walls. Multiple walls. <laughs> With that, it's time to talk about some notable orcs. Let me why for you. So we've been talking a lot about demons, right? Oh. Let's talk about one of my favorite orcs who has like one page of lore everywhere you look for him. Mr. Tuska Demon Killer. Tuska Demon Killer? Not killer. Sorry, killer. I'm dyslexic. Tuska was chilling on his ship called the Gorja. And then there were a bunch of demons that like started invading onto his big warship. Rude. Get your own ship. So he found like the big boss demon, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Killed him. Tuska had so much fun fighting this demon uh-huh. that he got a bunch of weird boys, which are just magic orcs that can like cast fist. Cast fist. And he basically, yeah, he, that, that's what they do. They cast fist okay. and they, they, he got them all together. Sometimes I cast, and... get out of bed. It doesn't always work. <laughs> <laughs> you failed this cast. Would oh, you like man. to try again? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Let me go so he to took sleep. these weird boys and he used them to enter the eye of terror. So he went straight into hell. And uh, this caught the attention of our favorite angry boy, Corn. He like saw this orc and probably heard them screaming, even though they're like in a big warship. And he probably saw them and was like, what is that? Well, and isn't so, the eye basically like... It's uh, a giant hole in space. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but, 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 but isn't it also like fast track to Slanesh's tummy? <laughs> no, it's just like a portal to the warp in general. But... If you are... Like, if you're an Aldari in the warp, Slanesh just grabs you. But she... It she's, doesn't matter where you are. She doesn't... Like, she's specific. She thinks orcs are, like, icky. Would she eat an orc? I don't think orcs have souls. Oh! You're saying mushrooms don't have souls? Have you ever had a conversation? <laughs> you ever talked to a mushroom? Have you ever even dude? tried? <laughs> so, Corn observed... Tuska and his boys fighting demons and was so entertained that once the orcs finally died, he just resurrected them. And so now Tuska and his horde fight Korn's demons for all eternity. Every time they die, they just come right back the next day and they could not be happier. Oh, okay. I was going to say this is like Tuska's having a blast. 
Prometheus situation, but not so much. We're having a great time. It's no, more of a like, fun. we're going to go fight forever in Valhalla. He's basically Orc Doom guy, and he's awesome, and I love him. He's great. Doom. What's Doom? Wait, Doom. Doom guy. Doom guy. I feel like I'm just blanking. So there's, Doom. A, there's a game Doom. called Doom. Yeah. There's a game franchise called Doom where you play as a guy called Doom guy. Is it like Judge Dredd? No. He's like just a soldier guy fighting in hell. Okay, and that's cool. the entire thing. You're just, you're, just so a, he just, you're just a guy so fighting humans in hell. So he just like caught a train to hell. Caught a midnight train going into the webway. <laughs> Not the webway. We went into the warp. I keep, oh, guys, it's... I know, there's a lot of W names. Just and they're all it. the same thing, but Caught not the, the same thing. the midnight train going into the warm. Don't stop wagging. <laughs> <laughs> they, they'll never stop. Our next character that we'll talk about is Captain Badrook of the Free Badrook. Ba- Badrook. Badrook. It's Badrook. like a bad truck. Bad drug. Captain Badrook, the freebooter captain. So he's a captain in the freebooters. Uh, he was exiled from the Bad Ugh. Moons clan for having too many teeth for his own good. Rich. He is described as unusually cunning. Like he's weirdly smart for an orc. Spoopy. He's also a massive coward. Oh, he's me. He's Jack Sparrow. No, you know who he's... <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's fair. He reminds me of, and honestly, as I was thinking it, which is why I kind of laughed, I feel like I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised if this character was in, actually inspired by Jack Sparrow. Um, Probably. Uh, oh, shit, his name just fell out of my head. Hanzo Oneka. Hanzo Oneka. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it. Do you remember in Clone Wars? He's the guy who comes back every now and then. He's like a pirate um, gang guy. Oh, and he's yeah. got that kind of hair that looks... He's got, like, the, the, the bandana, too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but then he's I, always I, fucking out of there the second the violence starts. He's like, oh, goodbye! <laughs> yeah. Actually, that yeah, that's very similar to Captain Badrook, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, I get it. I knew it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so Badrook usually leaves the moment a fight turns for the worst. Right. Using a custom and stolen teleporter. And because he uses this teleporter, other orcs are convinced that he's just magic. That's fair. If I saw a guy just use return. Just, just yeet. Gone. And I was... That guy's I magic. didn't know how to do it. Do you know that first time when I started and you left me alone in the world for the first time and I died and I didn't <laughs> know about return and I didn't see the pop were, up and I was just sitting there in upset. shout chat like, someone! Yeah. I don't know what to do! And then I googled it and I was um, like, oh. Captain Badrick actually makes a significant appearance as an antagonist in the book Brutal Cunning, which, if you like orcs, that's a good book. Okay, are they written how orcs... In orc? Yes. Yes, they are. Well, I might actually be able to read it. It's Actually, really probably fun. there is no way I could read it. I don't... Our next orc is a relatively minor one, but his story is really fun, so I thought it'd be fun to talk about. Uh, his name is Grizzguts. Grizzguts. Grizzguts is the orc who time-traveled. I like time travel. Mm -hmm. The orc who leapt through time. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. So basically, he was an orc warlord who, um, so he was on his wall, went into the warp by accident. And because the warp is all timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. The octa. What? The the octa. The octa. I'm the octa. I'm the octa. Oh, ties are cool. Oh, dies. An orc would unironically have a sonic screwdriver. And it would work just because he thinks that it does. It would be like... Oh, that one episode where the, he meets like the guy who thinks he's the doctor. Oh, I, oh, that one's really cute. That was cute. That was that was like a heartwarming. That was really cute. One. That guy's an orc. So they're in a fugue state. No, they're just stupid. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when Grisguts came out of the warp, they actually noticed that they were back in time. They were at the moment right before they went into the warp, and so Grisguts, what? being a bit of a kleptomaniac, what? went into his past self's ship and killed himself. To get two of his favorite shooters. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, one second. Sorry. So they went in the warp. And when they came out, they were back in time right before they went in. So is it like they could see themselves over there, there going were two into now. the Okay. That's what I was trying to understand. Yeah. Okay. The confusion of this event spiraled his horde into disarray and his wah ended. Aw. Yeah. The rain on my listen, listen even even time paradoxes confuse orcs a bit too much that's when they tap out they're like this ain't fun anymore boss they certainly confuse movie directors so this obviously would then confirm that there are multiple timelines 
Warhammer is a multiverse. Okay, yes. cool. So that means that that Grigs, Grizz Guts, right? Grizz Guts, yes. So that means that that Grizz, there is no longer a Grizz Guts in that original dimension. It's described as he time traveled. Yeah. Time traveling is a thing in 40K. Yeah. Whether or not it means he jumped into another universe, who knows? The thing about Grizz Guts is his story is really fun because he went back in time to kill his previous self to get two of his favorite guns. But it's just... A lot of orcs are really fun because you can just like have a story like that and you're like, <laughs> that's funny and silly and ridiculous. They're not too worried about canon events. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't okay. matter. Miguel O'Hara would hate orcs. Okay, but he's pretty though. No, he... Mm. Mi- he's pawing he around. He he, he's got... He's he jumping got, around. Like, vampire fight. Ooh. He's... Ooh. Work on that tempter. Bite me, daddy. A little bit. Our last orc we will talk about today. His name is Gazgul Mag Uruk Thraka. Gazgul Mag Uruk Thraka. Yes. Oh. Also known as Margaret Thatcher. Because of That's the hair? That's not a joke. No, his name is supposed to be a play on Margaret Thatcher. I'm looking I at don't it. know why. Maguk Thatcher. I get the last three Mag words, yeah. Thraka. Yeah. Gazgul, I think, is just Gazgul. You could say Gazgul is like the main character of the orcs. He's sort of like the one that's got the most going on because he's 40K's biggest orc. So he's the boss. He's the boss. He's the current war boss of the Goths. That's why he's got like the, mm. the checkerboard. Okay, okay. Him. So he's Goths a lot going on. It's true. Gaskell began his rise to war boss after a battle resulted in his head being decapitated. Usually that's the end of the story. But luckily, Gaskell is an orc. His body was slapped onto a mech body. Oh, okay. And he was just fine. And then so it he happened really, himself, really fast. Eh. It's like, that was, gee, okay, what game was this that I saw a friend playing where like, you get decapitated in first person, but it all happens so fast that you're like your friends like catch your head and like stick it on a thing that they're able to like save you. And then at another point, Hitler's running around and he's shooting people. That's Wolfenstein. Yeah. But I remember because like I was just like watching my friend play this game that was like kind of violent. Mm. And then it had this first person <laughs> cutscene where you get decapitated and then like quickly move. And I was like, that is actually like I was like traumatized. <laughs> It's like, yeah. not okay. I was like, I did so, not so need you, to see that. <laughs> this is interesting. You're familiar with Wolfenstein, but you're not familiar with Doom. They're actually very similar. To Just say, replace okay. Nazis with demons. To say familiar, mm-hmm. I think, in your mind, is to say have played. I haven't played Wolfenstein. Well, I mean, like, you're aware of Wolfenstein. Well, I was aware of this cutscene I saw. Right. I know that Wolfenstein is like you're killing Nazis and shit, and I think that's great. Right. Like my my brother it. plays Wolfenstein. My brother also plays right. Doom. But at some point, I think he has. I have been like, "What are you playing?" And he said Wolfenstein. And I've probably seen him play Doom and just not ask what it was. Right. Because as I said, they are very similar. Yes. So you probably saw Doom and was like, "Oh, that's Wolfenstein." Or just any other game. Or just any shooting game. Yeah. yeah no, I. I that, that it's makes just sense. that at some point I was told what Wolfenstein was, and a category box was made in my brain mm-hmm. so I can hear Wolfenstein and go oh yeah that's the thing with the Nazis mm-hmm. that hadn't happened for Doom yet so after Gazkul was decapitated and his body was slapped onto a mech which made him very big right uh, he deemed himself the prophet of Dawa kind of like a weird Briario <laughs> or like Mako um, the, the prophet of the Wa prophet of Dawa oh sorry prophet of Dawa I would say mm-hmm. Mawa is La <laughs> My wife, no. My wife, no. <laughs> um, actually, fun fact, he was actually saved by a little Gretchen that he keeps around. Gretchen. Named Makari. No, Gretchen. Makari is his banner waver, so he like holds up like Gazkul's icon and is like, this is Gazkul. Makari is known as the luckiest Gretchen because every time he dies, he gets resurrected with all of his memories intact. Oh. Yeah, we don't know why. And everybody else who gets recommended, recommended. <laughs> Hey guys, I really like this one orc. He's great. You should work with him. Uh, <laughs> yes, his car <laughs> um, his waws are fantastic, but make sure oh my God. you bring your own condoms. Um <laughs> sorry. Listen. That's the when, listen, there is a community that's, that's out in there the web that way. finds 40k orcs quite attractive. Oh, that's that. Oh, I can't remember. I came across like a hashtag that I was like, what is that? And like clicked it and it was like people who are attracted to monsters or non-human bodies. And I was like, Oh yeah. What oh, do I I gotta go. Makari gets resurrected. So other so other people who gets resurrected, they lose their memory. Typically, resurrections are not 
very common in 40k. Okay. So not only is it exceptional in the case of like, he but is like when they, ha- I guess it messes with your head, you know? You, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You lose oxygen going in there for a while. It's going to scramble stuff around. It's very odd. Yeah. But Makari's great. And he and Gaz are like kind of friends. I love friends. He is not Gaz Cool's best friend. Gaz Cool's best friend is a human Ooh. named Commissar Yarek. Okay. Yarik is a guy who lost his arm in a battle with an orc. And as a response, he calmly reacted by ripping off that orc's mechanical arm and replaced his own with it. <laughs> this event was seen as the coolest thing ever by every single orc. Whenever Gaz hears that Yarik is on a world, it doesn't matter what he's doing, doesn't matter who he's fighting, he's gonna stop and immediately go wherever Yarik is. Because Aww. to Gaz cool, Yarik is the most fun to fight. Aww. Because Yarik is the only human that understands how dangerous orcs are and like understands their tactics and how to fight them. He just wants somebody to understand. It should be noted that Yarik does not reciprocate these feelings. Oh. He is horrified of the orcs. Oh no. And John has provided a passage from something to really illustrate how orcs can be terrifying. Okay, let me get comfy. Guys, everybody get comfy. I was gonna read us a tale. Oh, I'm excited. This is told from the perspective of Commissar Yarik. Okay. Gazkul Mag Uruk Thraka awaited me beside the ship's access ramp. I did not let my confusion or the sense that I had slipped into an endless waking nightmare slow my stride. I did not hesitate as I strode towards the monster. I stopped before him. I met his gaze with all the cold hatred of my soul. He radiated delight. He then leaned forward, a colossus of armor and bestial strength. Our faces were mere centimeters apart. My soul bears many scars from the days and months of my defeat and captivity, but there is one memory that, above all others, haunts me. By day, it is a goad to action. By night, it murders sleep. It lives with me always, the proof that there could hardly be a more terrible threat to the Imperium than this orc. Thraka spoke to me. Not in orcish. Not even in low gothic. In high gothic. A great fight, he said. He extended a huge, clawed finger and tapped me once on the chest. My best enemy. He stepped aside and gestured to the ramp. Go to Armageddon, he said. Make ready for the greatest fight. So yeah, Gaskul is terrifying. I mean, he's kind of just a Viking. Like, in the sense of... You could say, yeah, you could draw a lot of parallels between Vikings and orcs. Yeah. Yeah. But also like a Goron. But Gorons are also kind of Viking-y. Well, I, I don't know, really. But like, eh. I just mean like in the, I guess the brotherly bigness, maybe I'm getting more of a, like an a, like an English knight coming across a Viking and like not quite understanding like the pleasure that's taken mm. in- In seeing the, this fight. The fight happen. and like in, in, yeah. in the activity itself, but also like in, in the glory or or- kind of the merit that you take away from winning or losing or being in that mm-hmm. battle. I also, side note, I play this character in Red Wing. Glitch Silver, like this is their entire dynamic is that Red Wing is like the hero and he's trying to do things. And my character just fucking is like a crazy person who just loves fighting him. Right. Well, also think about it from Yark's perspective where like the average orc is, they're just going to grunt and scream and try to kill you. Yeah. But then you have the biggest one you've ever seen in like this giant colossal mech suit and it, he's just like, let's go fight again. And he's like smiling and super happy about it. Like that is horrifying. Well, I mean, think about that with any, if you were anything, like if you're yeah, fighting this demonic creature, the scariest moment is when it asks you what you're doing or something. Yes. When it looks at you and like is on your level. The hardest demon to beat in Zelda is Dark Link. Because he understands. Yeah, well, it's, it's he has everything you have. Mm-hmm. So how do you counter that? Yeah. You take out the Megaton Hammer. Spoilers. Oh, he doesn't have, why doesn't he have the hammer? I don't know. That was just how I always did it. I, there are other ways oh. to do it. You can also just be good at the game. But I, see. I was four. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, that's all I have for orcs for you today. Do you have any questions? Um, so it's not only that he retained his memories. It seems to be he's quite special because he is of like a yeah, human cool. intelligence. Not only is he the biggest orc, he is the smartest orc, and that is that's what makes him special. So, but he is not the biggest because he grew the biggest. He's the biggest because he's in a mech. So that doesn't matter. They're not like prejudiced 
towards yeah, it being it's just, if they're big, they're yeah, it's literally yeah. the the one who takes up the most space has the most power. There's a fun minor story with an orc war boss who there are like orc doctors. They're called pain boys. Oh, fair enough. Anesthesiologist mm-hmm. is what I'd say, but I guess. Pinga. Orcs would rather die than be under the scalpel of a pain boy. Okay, so not anesthesiologists at all. They're just gonna poke you and Aww. prod you and experiment on you because that's what they find to be fun. So it's like when uh, you would have an operation in a theater. A theater, yeah. So this war boss, every time he was like under operation, he would kind of notice that the pain boy that was working on him, his body would get a little, a little bigger. The pain boys would? Yeah. Okay. It's weird. Okay. He would just get slightly bigger. And he was like, oh, I must be seeing things. So is he shrinking? And then he, no. So the idea is the the pain boy, whenever this war boss would get big enough, uh-huh. the pain boy would kind of switch their heads. Oh. This is from what someone else told me. Wait, I did what? not do research on this. So this could be like totally oh, wrong. That's a, but this is what I remember. This is a black market. Yeah. You're dealing no, pain boys are messed full up. bodies? He's, yeah. But wait, yeah, what? I thought they were doing like orc growth hormone. No, they're doing orc surgery. Holy. Who do you think put gas well, cool in the mech? Listen, a head transplant a head. is a little more than a, <laughs> a surgery. I mean, they're probably just switching heads. A head transplant? Yeah. Get a Gretchen. That's only it. happened it. once. And it hey. didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, but that was a that was a puny you me. It ain't me. Ain't me like a big orc. It was a scientific marvel and pretty tragic for the family. But yeah, I'm kidding. (laughs) I I, I guess it's just blowing my mind that that's the easiest way to do it. But I suppose it's the most literal. I want a bigger body. You just put them on a bigger body. So just put them on a bigger body. I guess. So like on a battlefield, if an orc like gets shot and there's a pain boy behind them, if the pain boy doesn't just take them into an infirmary, he might just like slap something on them, be like, you're good to go. And that orc will just get right back up, right as rain. He's good to go. Orc head comes off. Yeah, just slap it back on. You're good. So could you like, like if one guy comes in, he doesn't have an arm and then another guy comes in and then he doesn't have like a leg (laughs) and then like another guy comes, like, you know, when everybody thought like Shane Dawson convinced everyone that they were just reusing the pizza slice. Is it like that? Or we're just putting people back to like Franken orcs? Pretty much. Okay. I guess what works works. That's great for people making minis because like. Oh yeah. This is what I was saying. Like orcs, when it comes to like taking different things and combining them. Excellent. Yeah. It's like literally like the Mad Max, like fashion style of like. Just whatever whatever was around. Yeah. They they have a a, a very strong junkyard aesthetic. Yeah. And it's quite good. Yeah. Um, Who would you say your favorite orc clan is? Um, oh, the snake bites. I think I mostly, I like the snake bites. Yeah, the snake bites are quite good. Although, got the, as we were snaggas. talking about Yarhar. The free boot. Free to de-boot. Yeah, I mm-hmm. liked, I liked all, all those guys. But I think the snake bites, I think I'd be happy to live on a little orky ranch with my little orky genetic experiment, like my little squiggy boys. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like making different big squigs and little squigs. Although I I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to overbreed the population and then they can't find good squig owners. They're they're just mouths with legs pretty much. They eat anything. They're the male fantasy. This is what <laughs> we, this is the body type expected of women. Men, what's stopping you from looking like this? Men, what if it was a squig? Think about it. It? Think about it. Think like about it. Part? A lamprey is pretty appealing if you don't look at the I teeth. I don't I don't want to <laughs> think about this. <laughs> I don't want to think about the spot the being spot. A, a squig. I'm sorry. Do you have a favorite orc character that we talked oh. about today? I mean, I like time travel guy, but... You like Grits Guts? I do. It's pretty funny what he did. I mean, I would say it's not very smart. If well, I travel in time, I'm not going to kill listen, myself. I'm going to, like, work with hey, myself, you know? He wanted two of his favorite guns, and God damn it, he got it. Right. Where did... Could he... <laughs> would it... He could have taken a lemon, believed it was the other gun. No, that's, no, <laughs> it's it's not like that. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the belief thing only goes so far. I mean, yeah, that's take... kind of belief. That's what faith right, but, is. But like one orc can't just believe I'm invincible yeah. and then he can't die. Right. That's not how it works. It, it typically has to be like integrated within their society, sort of. Uh-huh, you know what I uh-huh. mean? Like. The red ones it's go not, faster. It, it, Every orc g- agrees on this. It's just how it works. Right. Okay. But I can't just like take 
this pencil and say, this is a gun. If you could gaslight the orcs, uh. you could solve so many problems. This is what I'm saying. Just manipulate the them. Fix it. If you could trick an orc or convince an orc of something right. that would be universally accepted among their clans, right. what would it be? I'm the son of God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It feels like a three wishes scenario. Like if I can only convince them of one thing, I guess I'm going to convince them that everything else I say is right, right? Sure. There we go. Now I can just, let me, oh no, let I'm going to have something. to like make schedule. <laughs> let me tell you something. So Yark's got one of these like artificial eye things. It's like this big oh, red yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen like, those before. sight circle. This coined him the nickname Bale Eye and they believed genuinely that he could shoot lasers from it. And so... I don't know if Yarek ever found hold out on me, man. Could You're gonna tell me about laser eye. I gotta see this. <laughs> from his eyes. X-Men has given me expectations. There may have been a situation where Yarek saw an orc and then a laser may have come out. I don't know. Listen, in 40k, anything is it's possible. It's the death glare. It's like when you actually... Yes. It's the you're dead to me stare. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I could do that. So oftentimes, whenever they lose a fight or they need to retreat, they don't see it that oh. way. They see it as, we don't want to fight you right now. We just want to fight you later. That's me. That's ADHD. <laughs> Anything <laughs> that just, I don't do now, I do later, but later doesn't exist. Yeah, That's the fucking... They just go away. It's so good. Oh. Orcs never lose. Fight you later. Orcs is best. I guess Corn likes them. Corn does like the orcs quite a bit. They fit very nicely into his vibe. Right. But like, are, they're, they're do they, are they more like, I could see them also being more nurgly being. Well, being green. Yeah. But like, oh, they're overall, well, also being fungus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Being like a decomposer. People have done a lot of really cool kit bashes where like they paint the orc skin to be like red and they give them like demon horns and mm. stuff. Yeah, it feels like yeah. their ideology is more corny. It's very much <laughs> whereas the, the corn. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think it's my own idea of orcs that's influencing, like a, a, like you know, classic orcs, like like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and, like, like generic being all gross orcs. <laughs> and like coming out of them yeah, weird not, mucus holes. Yeah, they're not really gross. They're more just kind of violent. They're like barbaric. Yeah, they're they're just they're children. They're children with no adult supervision. <laughs> They're children They're going to run now. around <laughs> and break things. They're children now. And Gazkul is like a teenager, essentially. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. He Which makes sense because he's so smart that he actually has depression. Me too. Poor oh, Gazkul. poor Gazkul. I got to read his book. I've heard it's very good. Maybe he would get along, along with Necron. They would have a lot of common. Is his head aging? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if orcs age. I don't, yeah, I guess mushroom types, depending. Like, they, they kind of just, just keep growing. <laughs> yeah, I think they just keep getting bigger. Um, so orcs have, like, their own lingo. Ah. Would you like to know of what they call certain things? Yeah. So we've gone through a I couple things, like, guns are DACA. DACA. We always need more DACA. Yeah. Swords are choppas. Choppas. Space marines, they used to be called beaky gits. Because they had very yeah, beaky helmets. Get. Yeah, I see it. Chaos Space Marines are spiky boys. Apt. I think Necrons are tin heads or tinnies. Oh, and I never had a heart. I don't know if they have a name for the Eldari. They might just call them like pointy ears or something. Right. So which clan is Shrek in? <laughs> Where's Donk? Any updates on Heroes of Eorzea? It's sort of on the back burner right now. I said I'd help and then I had a mental breakdown. I'm sorry. What is your favorite tabletop game or favorite video game currently? I sometimes have trouble with tabletop games because I have trouble with reading. And so that mm -hmm. kind of thing can be really intimidating to me. Hence, things like this and having a partner who, you know, is willing to kind of like sit down with me and help me explain in a way that works for my brain is very, very helpful. But I feel like it goes between Final Fantasy and Tears of the Kingdom right now, but mostly it's Final Fantasy right now. Currently, I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk. Good game. I'm glad that they fixed it. I've been trying to get more into Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I like a lot of the systems, and I would like to see if I could possibly DM a game, maybe even for the channel. I did one Pathfinder thing, the little goblin, like, mini quest, and I really Aww. enjoyed that. That was really, really fun. That's cute. What is the first thing that comes to mind when someone says Warhammer, a space marine? Yellow. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Just the color yellow. I <laughs> can <laughs> Mint chocolate, yay or nay? Yay. Oregon, baby girl, come. I must mansplain to you the machinations of this rare beetle I found. 